Hi everybody, I'm Shane. Today we're going to be operating our newly redesigned heavy duty brush mower. Uh, some of the design changes that we've made is we've gone to a larger direct drive system with a uh, heavier bearing carrier and the blade carrier group is heavier and now has four blades on it. So it's going to give us uh, a lot more inertia to carry through that tough cutting of heavier trees, larger trees, thicker brush. Uh, today we've matched it up to a Bobcat T770 with high flow and it's going to be putting out about 37 gallons per minute. So it should operate really well. We'll start off by mowing some brush and grass. All right, so we just got done cutting a little bit of grass. We took a couple of swipes here at some brush. Uh, most of the brush in this line up here, I think was, I think this is dogwood. It cuts relatively easy, but there's a lot of mass because there's large clumps of it. So the way I attacked it was to raise the front end up, get on top of it and, and cut most of the top off and then work on the underside. So you can kind of see here, this was kind of all a clump of this uh, bush and it, it really cut it up nice. Now, if, if I wanted to mulch this more, I just have to go over it a couple more times. So, but I wanted to show what the underside looked of, looked like on this uh, brush cutter. We're using uh, four large blades. Each blade weighs about 15 pounds, and they're they're swing away blades. But the nice part about this setup is that with a blade on the bottom like this, with a with an offset, it mulches really nice just by setting it down on the on the ground. So, uh, there's other. Uh, heavier mowers. We sell an extreme mower that has a blade that uh, hides when it swings away. Those are really good for cutting larger and larger material, but they don't mulch quite as easily. So um, this is a really nice uh, mix of heavy cutting ability, but uh, really easy to mulch. So here uh, we, we hit a couple clumps of English buckthorn. It's a really tough brush, uh, it grows in clumps. Um, we hit a couple earlier with our low flow direct drive mower. And I just wanted to do it now with the high flow so we can compare. Um, it, this machine here went through it much, much faster and mulched it up quicker too. This took us less than a minute, I would say. Whereas with the low flow mower, it took us over two minutes, I think, to do the same amount of work. And the reason this is, uh, even though it's a small piece of brush, this, this material is very tough. It doesn't want to break really easy. So it's, it's, uh, it takes a lot of energy to mow it up. So it's, that's why it's tough to mow. Um, it's one of the tougher materials that we have around here to mow. It's also an invasive species, so it's nice to get rid of it. But, uh, so far, uh, I'm really impressed with it. I'm, I'm surprised how quickly it cut the English buckthorn. Um, I was expecting it maybe to take a little bit longer to mulch it up, but it did fairly well. So. Uh, we're going to move next over to the uh, popple trees, the smaller saplings, and, and then we'll get into some larger trees. All 
right, so we've done some heavier brush cutting. Uh, I just want to show, demonstrate that I get, that you can cut a larger tree with this mower. This is not something that we recommend that you do uh, with a brush cutter. It's not made to cut trees all day long. If you're going to be cutting a lot of trees, you really need to use some kind of a mulcher, either a drum style or a disc style mulcher. But if you come across an occasional tree that needs to be removed, you can do it with these high flow brush cutters. So this tree is, um, I'm going to estimate it's, it's very mature. It's got to be at least a 10 inch tree here at the bottom and uh, it's mature. So it's, it's uh, probably good that we get rid of it anyway. So I'll probably roll back and cut into it right about up here and hope that it falls that way. I don't normally cut trees like this, but this uh, for demonstration purposes only. So you can see what it'll do. So let's give it a try. Right, so we got the tree down it didn't come down as easy as i thought it was going to be it's kind of a stiff tree and it didn't fall the right direction either i thought it was gonna was hoping it'd come this way but it fell forward so but it gives you an idea what you can do with a mower um you know here again this this stump is i'm sure it's at least 10 inches across it's got some hollow dead in the middle but uh, just an example of what you can do if you have to knock a tree over this mower is not made for cutting trees all day long but you have the ability to do it uh, on a limited basis if you need to. So um, it's, a, it's a nice capability to have in an industrial style mower where you're doing uh, heavy cutting, where you may need to cut a trail. And I think that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna cut a trail for a uh, shooting lane for a deer stand. And we'll try that next. This property owner wanted a hunting lane through this woods here. It's pretty thick and uh, it's going to take a long time to cut. But uh, when you're cutting a, a trail like this, you got to be real careful that when you cut the trees that they don't fall back on you. Sometimes they, they don't want to fall down because of all the trees around them. So you want to be real careful about where you where the trees fall. Um, for this exercise, I did disconnect the chain or lift limit chain. And we recommend that you always use the lift limit chain. The purpose of that chain is to prevent you from lifting the mower up so high that you can throw debris into the cab. I'm going to keep the, the back of the mower low, but I'm going to bring the front end up to cut some of these trees as I go through here because you have to cut down and mulch as you go because there's nowhere for the trees to fall. So we're going to give this a try and see how long it takes and see what the results are.
finished our rough pass through this cutting or through this lane here. Uh, the shooting lane is only about maybe 100 feet long. Uh, it took me just a little over eight minutes to cut that. Most of the trees I, were, I was cutting were between uh, two to six inch popples. Uh, there was one big dead tree that was probably 10 inch that I knocked over. It took a while to cut down, but this is just a first pass, a rough pass, and I'll go back through and, and uh, clean it up a little bit. One thing you got to know about a direct drive mower is that they tend to have slower tip speeds. And that's uh, the trade-off there is that you can get more torque at the spindle. Um, and also a lot of these larger high flow brush cutters, they have really heavy uh, stump jumpers or, or bear, uh, blade carriers. And our blade carrier, the, the unit is about 450 pounds. Now the advantage there is that you have a lot of stored energy that you can use as a one-time shot if you want to cut a bigger tree. But the downside is that it takes more time in it to spin it back up to speed because you got to regain that, that energy, that inertia. So in the case of cutting a bigger tree, uh, a heavier blade carrier is, is an advantage.